First thing you need to do is get them out of the box and ready to go. Perfect. All right, time for the tail of the tape. Let's see just how close these two really are. All right, so let's fly in for a closer look at this. Now, you've got a really beautiful control panel. It's digital, I really like that. You've got your temperature control, you got your time control. There's a button for roast, dehydrate, reheat, and air fry. Now, those are gonna be different combinations of time and temperature just to save you a little bit of time up here. I always like that function, that's pretty cool. They'll call it a digital brain. Uh, you've got your start and your pause button, your power button, uh, and off to the side here, and this is a sticker so you can remove it if you want. Uh, just some, some time guidelines of different kinds of foods. You see that on a lot of air fryers. And when we go inside, this is a, uh, it's really nice, feels great, well built. I mean, you don't expect anything less from Ninja. Uh, this is a four quart and it's got a couple of accessories inside. Now, I will say that the one that's on the bottom is what you see in most air fryers. It allows separation between the bottom and the food so the air can circulate as long as you've left you know, room in the food for the air to pass through. So I'm not entirely sure uh, that, that this extra accessory is necessary. It's kind of nice. I mean, you could use it for uh, eggs for sure. A lot of people use these for eggs. All right, so let's pop that back in there. And now we're gonna check out Elpis. And that really is the point, isn't it? At half the price, how is this gonna stack up against a powerhouse like that? And let's start with the panel. Now this panel's on top. And I gotta tell you, man, that's pretty. That's nice stuff. Uh, so it's got, um, you know, kind of everything that was on the sticker over there. The french fries uh, for chops, pizzas, cakes, fish, steaks, chicken. It's just little cheat times uh, so you don't have to look things up in a book all the time. You've got a digital pad as well. We're going to get these fired up when we dig our food out. And we've got all of our plus and minus temperature, plus and minus time. Now, we don't have uh, those pre-programmed ones that we saw over on the Ninja. But for some of you, that's going to be okay. Uh, it's got a nice glossy finish, so I mean it's a it's a pretty one. There's no doubt about that. Let's have a look inside. Same type of thing that we talked about before. There's that basket, and again, this is going to provide that space between the bottom and the top, allow that airflow, allow, allow that air crisping. And this design is square, so that comes down to personal preference, you guys. Do you like it square? Do you like it regular? Really doesn't uh, you know matter to me. But at the end of the day, that's going to be something that you can look at without a doubt. So let's slide that right back in. And those are the ones we're gonna cover. So let's start with French fries. All right, here we go. This is about a two pound bag and each one of these machines says it's good for about two pounds worth of potatoes. So we can go ahead and fill both of these up with a bag. I'm just gonna put half in each because we wanna see uh, the, the, the time that it's gonna take, uh, especially according to what they have programmed uh, and the results we're gonna get. So let's do this. So now that we've got these all plugged in and ready to go, let's have a closer look at the display panels and the way they function. So the Ninja is a beautiful machine. Let's go ahead and hit that power button. There we go. Now, as soon as this comes on, you got a nice bright display. You've got some uh, buttons here for temperature. That's gonna put it up and down in increments of uh, what looks like 15 degrees and you're gonna, oh, 10, uh, 10 to 15 degrees, and you're gonna max out at 400. And then your time, uh, minute by minute, I like that. Uh, and you've got some presets here, air fry, which is gonna set you at 390 degrees, roast 375, reheat at 350, and dehydrate. And all those are gonna have different times plugged in. So what we're gonna do, because French fries are just kind of the standard, what everybody does, I'm guessing that they kind of base their air fry on that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit air fry and start, perfect. So that's got it set for 20 minutes. Nice quiet machine. Looking good. All right, let's head on over here. These guys have their display on top and it's actually really, really nice. Now have a look here. Uh, you've got a little menu to go through that's gonna cycle through all of the different uh, same types of food they have printed above it, along with the time and the temperatures. So that's actually pretty cool, man. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go and find that preset for French fries right there. Now I could go up or down a couple of minutes or I could go down a few degrees. And that's gonna max out at 400 as well. Let's hit start and they're off to the races. See you in a second. Here we go. Whew, this is fun. All right, so this one's done. This one's got another minute or so. Let's have a look inside. Just these are looking good. These are looking good. Let's just kind of keep all of these over here. Perfect, yum. All right, slide that back in. All right, let's have a peek. They look good, they're nice and golden. They got that great color. They've got, they got a nice little snap there. 
Got some steam coming out. Those are ooh, those look good. All right, here we go. Mm hmm. Mm. Now, personal preference, I gotta tell you, these guys, the, the timer might be a little bit off on this. I'd like to see these done a little bit more, a little bit crispier, a little bit more of a snap. I think if I got those in a restaurant, quite honestly, I'd send them back, ask them to cook it a bit longer. So this one's gonna set a timer for you right off the bat at 15 minutes. That needs 20. Now, this one, out of the gate, our Ninja did 20. And have a look here. There is a major, major league difference. And there we go. Man, there is a big difference there. You can see what I mean. One of them needed a few more minutes. Ninja got that timer right, right out of the gate. That's terrific. Really nice. All right, time to get those wings going. All right, so here we've got two pounds of frozen wings in each basket. So we emptied out a, a full family size store-bought bag. Uh, and again, that's what these baskets are good for, about two pounds. Let's slide them in. And both of these machines have a great safety feature. They don't turn on unless you slide the basket in. So that's really cool. Can't get that heat going unless everything's popped in there. Good stuff, both of you. So now, all right, let's check out our Ninja. The sticker on the side is telling me 390 degrees for 22 to 26 minutes. That sounds, that sounds pretty good. That sounds all right. So we've got our air fry button. It's going to give me that 390 degrees. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get all the way up to 26 minutes. Hit that start button. You are off to the races. Let's have a look at the competition. Uh, we're going to cycle through. There we go. Until I get to... Chicken wings, 400 degrees, so 10 degrees more, but 15 minutes. Uh-uh. I'm telling you right now, 15 minutes is not going to cut it. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to raise this uh, right out of the gate up to 26 minutes, just so we're neck and neck and, uh, there and we can see what's going on. Uh, let's go ahead and give it our, where's our start button? Oh, no. There we go. Holy moly. And I found with chicken wings, you want to give this a shake a couple of times through the process. Let's check them out. All right, those look fantastic. We got carrots on the plate. Uh, that always makes me feel better about eating a giant plate of wings in the middle of the afternoon. And now, Ninja, here we go. Perfect, nice, 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 nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at these side by side. That's Ninja, these are beautiful. Look at this, all the way around, nice and even. That's exactly what you're looking for, that's gorgeous. And then over here, this is our uh, Elpis. And I think, you know what, same thing. These are really nicely done, however, however, however. And this is where the cracks start to show. Now I can tell right off the bat that these look darker, they feel crunchier without a doubt. These are, these are fully cooked, no question about it. But these are the ones I'd rather eat based on the timers that they're suggesting, okay? now. That being said, all I have to do is adjust the timer on this an extra three or four minutes. This one just makes it easier. But now, so that's it, everybody. How'd we do? Which machine won? We got a couple of really great machines here that pumped out some really good looking food. Now, bottom line is, if we're looking for a flat out winner, it's Ninja. We're not even gonna talk about it. Man, these guys have it figured out. It's a beautiful machine. Everything works the way you want it to. All of the timing is right. Everything just feels good with it. You know what? They've worked out all the kinks. They've worked out all the bugs. You see them all over the place. You can always pick them up anywhere you want. And I'll tell you something, you're never gonna be dissatisfied. If you've got the extra couple of bucks, absolutely. But for half the price, this did a pretty darn good job. So I'll tell you something, whether you wanna spend the 100, whether you wanna spend that 53, you're gonna win either way. But in my books, it's gonna be Ninja. Thanks so much for hanging out today, guys. Oh,